Good morning, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2001 Chrysler Town & Country LXI. You can see here I hold the open button. The ramp will deploy. Door slides open. In-floor ramp, which makes it nice if you want to access this door. There's not a ramp in the way. Folds out 29 and a half inch wide ramp, 800 pound weight capacity. 53 inches of room coming inside the van and then 57 inches of room once you're inside the van. Inside the van, it's got your gray leather seats, super clean. It's got your upgraded Sherlock tie down, so these are quick and easy to do. Put your lap belt down there. This van is super clean, only 54,000 miles. It's been very well taken care of. You got your rear air, rear air controls. It's got removable seats, so if you did want to drive this van, say by yourself, you want to pull up, open the ramp, uh, pull your chair up, drive from your wheelchair, or transfer, you know, between the seats, or even remove a seat, put your chair up there, transfer over. A lot of options to allow you to be independent is my point. You're not waiting on rides from other people. You're not having to inconvenience anybody. You go when you want to go, and you stop when you want to stop. So that's a nice, nice feature to have your independence. So very nice, very clean. We can operate uh, power sliding door on the side here. If you want to put the ramp away, you hold hold the top side, the number one. There's there's a number one, there's a number two. Give it a good hold, get it press and firm. Hold, it'll all shut down. This does have a power trunk on it. It does not work. So full disclosure on this van, there's a few things that don't work. That's one of them. If you want us to dive into it, those rear ramp, the rear door motors can get kind of expensive. A little tiny crack in the dash here. But overall, nice clean van, very well taken care of. You can exit out over here. Put the power door button there. Quick walk around the van, it's got new. Four new tires on it, in great shape. All the doors shut properly. It's a nice clean van. I believe we sold this to a family. Uh, they used it for a few years. Eventually ended up uh, not needing it anymore. Sold it back to us, we buy them back quite a bit. So if that's a concern for you, that's something we can certainly help with. We even buy uh, mobility vans that we haven't sold. Small little dent about the size of a dime there. And I hope you can tell in my video I'm trying to be honest and fair as I possibly can. I'm not trying to repre represent this as a new van, but it is a nice clean van. It's got the two key fobs. We can do the lock and unlock here from the key fobs. So that's a nice feature to have as well. And we always show you the VIN number. That way you know the vehicle is here in our possession. This is not some internet scam. Come on camera, focus for me. There you go. Always make sure you get a video of that VIN number before you buy a van. Uh, one thing about this key fob though, I did notice they've got the, it's lock to unlock and then unlock actually locks the van. Be aware of that, okay? So lock unlocks it and the unlock locks it. So somewhere along the lines, someone probably programmed it wrong along the way, but it still works. What we do with that VIN number on every vehicle we buy, we run a Carfax report. Shows uh, five owners, no accidents or damage. As we scroll down, you can see Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. And they show no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a clean title with no accidents. Carfax shows no structural damage. Airbags have never been deployed. Odometer is accurate. No accidents or damage and no open recalls. As we scroll down here, you can see the vehicle has been owned in Oklahoma or Kansas its entire life. So that's exactly what we want, nice salt, rust-free areas. And no matter who you do business with, look them up online, find out their reviews. You can find us on eBay, 1,248 transactions. Every one of those people left us positive feedback. Also, no matter who you do business with, look them up online. Make sure they're a real company. Make sure you're not getting scammed. It happens every day. People lose their life savings. So you can find us on Google. See, we're here in Wichita, Kansas. Look at our 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. I hear people all the time complaining that, you know, certain mobility dealerships, they paid $10,000 too much for a van. Uh, they got a van with a bunch of rust. They can't get a title for it. They bought from someone on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, and it's a complete disaster. So know who you're buying from. Buy from a dealer with a good reputation. Uh, be sure to look up their ratings online before you buy. If you want 5 star vans with a 5 star service from someone that's been doing this for over a decade, give me a call. Okay, to so the interior of the van. I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors. 
power seat works great nice clean leather this van is just immaculate immaculate condition for the age it does have one key it's got the two fobs on it if you want us to get additional key made on your dime let us know we'd be happy to do so I know you've already seen back here but it's giving me a little different perspective showing you how clean that headliner is how clean this carpet is they've taken wonderful care of this van you're not going to find a cleaner van of this age and on the uh, trunk like I mentioned this is a manual trunk a little bit of touch up paint right there you have to do this trunk manually the power trunk does not work it's got your spare tire back here just immaculate condition inside and out so when I go to start up the van fires right up see the current miles 54,981 miles now in the camera those lights are blinking back and forth it does this on the older vans for some reason it's not doing that in real life it's just how the camera picks up these older the lights on these older vans so don't be worried about that it's got the uh If the radio works good got the dual climate control and we've uh, got three mechanics that work for me we test all the power mirrors the power windows the power locks the heat the air the cruise belts hoses suspension steering we're very thorough with these vans we do not just throw them on the lot you can even see the vents back there hopefully this video shows that we are very thorough let me pop the hood here so you can listen to it run underneath the hood Got a 3.8 V6 engine. It idles smooth. No signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks. It's obviously got good response time, sounds great. As I crawl underneath the van, much of the same, very clean. No signs of any bent metal from an accident. No signs of any oil leaks or anything, any kind of leaks. No signs of any rust from being up in a flood, being up north, anything like that. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy used vehicles, they just assume uh, that it runs and drives good they assume uh, that it's not all rusted out underneath and I tell you what go check out my competition do they show you the undercarriage of the vehicle do they show you a Carfax report do they show you their reputation online so you know that you're buying from a reputable dealer you know do they get down on their hands and knees like I am right now so you can see exactly what you're getting yes there's very minor surface rust that's to be expected on any 2002 vehicle very clean though no red flags on this van you know, if you do end up buying a vehicle, especially an older one like this, from out east, out in New York, yeah, I can buy a van like this in New York for two five thousand dollars. I know I can, but I know when it gets here, the frame's going to be all rusted out. It won't be safe to drive. The integrity of the entire vehicle has been compromised. I know it won't pass inspection in most states, so therefore I can't drive it. So yeah, go buy that for five thousand dollars. You just bought a paperweight, or you can buy a nice clean van like this that's been down in the, the south or not not rust and salty areas, and. Before you buy from anybody, do four things. Uh, demand a Carfax report. Do not buy and just hope it's got a clean title. Get some history on the vehicle. Uh, demand a detailed video like this. If they won't get out their behinds and get out and make you a video, move on to the next person. Get online. Find out who you're buying from. Check out their reputation. And lastly, demand a warranty. Our van comes with a 90-day, 3,000-mile drivetrain plus warranty. Go to any shop in the United States. Do not risk buying as is. We stand behind our product and that's why we offer that 90 day warranty. Okay, the final portion of the video, I always like to get the vans out on the highway, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this town and country home, we've done our due diligence, we've made sure it's roadworthy, pops up to uh, 65, 70 miles an hour, steering wheel's nice and straight, no unusual vibration or noise. But the van runs and drives very nice down the highway. I got the cruise control set. Cruise works good. With all that being said, please keep in mind this is an older used van. We do offer that 90 day warranty, but we do recommend a long term extended warranty that covers not only the van, but also the conversion. Uh, we do sell those very affordably. Talk to me about how you can protect your investment uh, very affordably. But yes, these conversions can get very costly to work on. So we highly recommend you get that extended warranty that covers the conversion as well. And also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers have a real nice price online. What they have hidden in the fine print or they don't tell you about until it's time to buy the van or time to close the deal is $500 administrative fees. They got dock fees. They got tag fees. 
and oh yeah they don't have free shipping like we do so next thing you know that real nice price you saw online jumps three or four thousand dollars once you add up all their hidden fees and once you add up the shipping so sit back relax let me do all of that for you at no additional charge to you my question to you is someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle they've got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end you know what else are they hiding from you is it a salvage title is it flood damage is it mechanical issues you know i don't know i just know transparency is key and if someone's not being honest from the get-go there's a really good chance there's other things they're hiding so be aware of that when you're out shopping I'm going to give the van a nice hard break at the bottom of this exit here no grinding no squeaking no unusual brake noise or vibration so once again exactly what we're looking for and hey if you want to give us a phone call 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. If texting is easier for you or you're just more comfortable texting, my name is Jeremiah. Here's my cell phone. 316-518-4377. I am the owner. You now have my cell phone number. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Or are you just a number to them? You end up in somebody's voicemail. You can't get a call back from anybody. So if you're like me and you're absolutely sick of companies treating you like just a number, reach out to me. Let me help. I'll walk you through start to finish and make sure we get you taken care of. And uh, yes, we do have financing available. We can send an application to your phone or email address. If computers aren't your thing, pick up the phone. Give me a call. We're happy to take an application over the phone. By the way, I've got the air conditioner on today. It is ice cold. It feels great. Like I said, we fully inspected this van. Hey, if you do want to call the competition and you want to talk to a used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal, go right ahead and do that, and you enjoy that. If you want absolutely zero pressure sales, I'm here to just give you information let you make the best decision for you. Call me. That's what I'm here for. I promise you, I'm going to sell this town and country whether you buy it or not. There's absolutely no pressure sales here. Um, yes, we do accept trade-ins, even from across the country. Give me a call. I can explain how that works. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free Carfax reports on every vehicle and dozens of pictures so you know exactly what you're getting, check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. One thing I forgot to mention, I apologize. Vans this old are very hard to get financing on, so we probably cannot get you uh, financing on this van. It's going to have to be cash. Uh, some people use a credit card, personal loan, or maybe a home equity loan or something like that. So unfortunately, I wish we did, but we probably will not have financing on this van. So I just wanted to be upfront and honest with you about that. So have a great day, and thanks for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions.